Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series with me, Wizard. And today we're going to be playing a little bit of Sheltered. We're going to start a brand new game. Difficulty normal, chance of rain good, map resources moderate, breach frequent, frequency occasional, fraction density. I'm going to turn that down. Well, now let's leave it. Why not? Map size normal, fog of war off, fine. Customize family. Let's randomize, get a good person here. Well rounded, logical. Whoa, oh, no. Yeah. Let's see. Athletic, violent. No, we don't want that. Okay, Marcus, Sarah, well-educated, yeah, good enough, Dennis, know-it-all, no, we don't want to know-it-all, smarty pants, bully, brain box, know-it-all, well-spoken, high charisma, good enough. Rough and tumble. Yeah. That's probably good enough. And that'll work. Family. Pet's name Zeus. A snake. No. Let's change the pet's name. Smokey is good. YouTubers. There we go. You want to play the tutorial? No. If you're new to the game, you should probably you should probably play through the tutorial. It'll give you a good uh, basis on what the game is all about and what it's like and how it plays through. But I've played a few hours on this. It's a really good game. It is not a free-to-play game, but at the moment it is on sale on Steam. It you know. Okay, I'm going to give this game a rating based on three things. Graphics, playability, storyline. Graphics, not very great. You know, as far as a lot of your, like, leading console games go. So, graphics, I'd say probably around a 5-6. Storyline, the storyline is eh. You know, it's kind of a generic uh, storyline. It's the end of the world. You're living in a Fallout shelter. You have to survive. There's a lot of games out there like that. You know, Fallout, Fallout Shelter, a lot of other games. So storylines, I'd give it a 5 or 6. Playability, however, I'd give this a 9 or a 10. Because every time, every single time you play this game, it will play out differently. So, we're going to jump right in. We have our four people and our dog. So, we're going to have Marcus. We're going to fill the dog bowl so the dog doesn't die. You have a journal here that you can view. Day one, we made it. We only have each other for support. This is the family for our records and to whomever may find this in the future. Marcus, Sarah, Brenda, Matthew, and our pet dog, Smokey. I wonder who used to live in this shelter. It looks as though they left in a hurry or were forced to leave. Luckily, the supplies they left behind still appear to be attacked. We will try to make this place our home. And, okay, we'll go down here to the workbench. Let's see if we can upgrade it right off the bat. We can't. Well, let's upgrade it right off the bat. It is something that needs to be done. You will have to upgrade and for it the second we are going to rearrange the shelter we're gonna bring everything we can this way that can go there I'm gonna bring the medicine cabinet closer into here I don't know if you can move the dog bowl I don't think you can the 
journal can move over as close to that way as we can get it. Same with that. The clipboard. Clipboard is very useful the farther in you get because it will give you more. Uh, it'll give you basically your system. Your your. Uh, I don't believe you can move the generator. The water butts, however, I'm going to get over that way as close as you can. You press space to confirm everything. That gives us a bit of room here. And he is doing that, so we are going to switch to Sarah. We're going to get some basic setups done. We need a sleeping bag. This is why I moved everything as close to there as we can get it. And now let's switch to Matthew. Get him to craft a... Let's get a second water butt in here. And we also need a couple other things. We have, okay, we have the bed. Makeshift shower. Let's put this right in here for the moment. And we need a bucket toilet. That can go there. And a mop and bucket to clean the shelter. Okay, those are our very basic must haves for survival in this game. Now let's just look at a few other things that eventually we're going to need. Uh, carrier bags, we can use some of them. Uh, bed rolls, that's for your party while they're expeditioning. And a satchel. Let's get a satchel created. That will help us enormously once we decide to send out an expedition, which we will be doing fairly soon here. Let's speed up time a little bit. Okay. All right. Marcus needs to sleep. Okay, the dog's food bowl is empty. I was playing this, you know, in easy and managed to basically let the dog die within the first three days. So we're going to try not to do that here. Okay. We do need it to rain soon to fill up our water. And as you can see in here, our characters have different bars, you know, status bars. Thirst, hunger, tiredness, toilet, and dirtiness. They also have stress and trauma. Stress builds if you, um, if they don't have the necessities that they need to survive. Trauma happens if they get attacked or if they have to attack and kill and or hurt someone in the outside world. And also, you can send them on like automatic. Okay, it is raining. Great. We're going to have her drink. We're going to have him drink. We're going to have him drink. Well, her. And, okay, let's see. Let's check out our storage. We have the satchel. We have some gas masks, some pipes, which is good. Let's have her make a carrier bag real quick out of some of the plastic that will allow them you can equip these the satchel and the carrier bags to your characters once they go out on an expedition it will allow them will allow them to gather more supplies 
and there are all kinds of supplies that you can gather and how much wood do we have 24 okay we're gonna have him craft let's see a tier 2 we can afford it small storage crate 20 more um, slots of storage which is awesome okay we have plenty okay we're gonna have him get up because Marcus and Brenda we are going to send on a short expedition next person she has toilet knees but that's okay uh, let's see church let's go unknown unknown school and house confirm this is the equip screen things that are highlighted in green are weapons so we'll equip a pipe as a weapon a gas mask of course because there's radiation on the sur surface and the satchel that will allow them to carry more okay we'll confirm that okay we'll do the same thing equip that equip the gas mask and equip the carrier bag see it says provides two extra inventory slots when equipped and we want that because the more stuff that we find that can be useful in the world and they will wander off and you'll get on your radio transmission or your radio transmitter you'll get a transmission you have to accept the transmission and etc etc but we'll see that momentarily he is almost done with that so let's take her and we can craft the actual bed so we're going to upgrade that right now we're going to deconstruct the sleeping bag except the transmission Brenda here we've stumbled across the church and it looks like it might have some good loot want us to take a look yes search location that was the transmission that I was talking about and this is basically how you have to get all of your resources early in the game okay when you deconstruct stuff you get stuff back which is nice and I'm going to have one of them okay we'll have Matthew let's see if Matthew okay we don't have cement we can't make cement so we're gonna have to look for that in the outlands I like to call it the outlands the wasteland okay bookshelf small pantry makeshift toilet we can upgrade that so let's upgrade that right now okay accept the transmission it looks like this church has some stuff that might be useful examine items okay pipes we'll take the pipes burnt clothes you can recycle items later like this stuff here to get stuff later in the game but right now it's not useful food is good and duct tape is good and see down at the bottom of the screen water owned 43 it can tell you how much of this stuff you own already at your base we have eight so we'll get the food water yeah we'll take the water because it could be good if we run into someone that has a trade and she's almost done with the bed so we'll deconstruct the bucket toilet since he's building a toilet and then we will send her to sleep Okay, it might seem like I'm kind of going back and forth here on some of the items. And I kind of am, but there's a reason. You get a lot of the stuff back. Okay, she needs a shower. We have a halfway decent amount of water at the moment. So I'm not going to worry too much about that yet. We stumbled across the clearing and it looks like it might have some good loot. Okay, search location. 
but yeah, while we're doing this, I want to talk a little bit about the new direction my channel is going to be taking. You know, and a lot of people hear that and say, oh no, you know, no more Hearthstone, no more Minecraft, blah, blah, blah. That is not the case. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We are still going to be doing Minecraft and Hearthstone. And, well, until we get a lab, none of this stuff is useful for us yet. So we're going to leave all that stuff. We need room for more important stuff at the beginning of the game. Food and crafting materials, basically. But uh, anyway, to continue, where I, to continue where I was going with that, the new direction of my channel. We are going to be focusing mainly on two things. Okay, I do, I play these games and I record them on a laptop. So I have to try to find games that I can play and record on a laptop. So I am going to focus on, oh, there's some really nice stuff here. I am going to focus on recording and uploading games that are accessible to others who are either playing on laptops or lower end computers. So you will see a lot of indie games, uh, Steam games, and such. And I play a lot of Steam games. Steam has a lot of great games that are really affordable. So, that is how this is, that's going to be affected. That is how, that's what the, the change to my channel is going to affect. I, I am still going to play on the Paradise Nation Minecraft server. If you're interested in that, let me know. And I am also going to continue doing other games like Hearthstone, possibly even another uh, in the future Creative Verse, or who knows? Who knows what exactly will come to the channel in the future? But it will be games that will be accessible to more than just big computers so we will examine the items at the school okay we want definitely want the chisel these will help with the crafting bench we definitely want the wood. We definitely want the cement. We definitely want the stuff to make cement. The nylon, the transistor. Uh, that's a recycled item. A nail, definitely. A motor, definitely. And I would like to take these because these are helpful for basically training your people while they are in your base but we will take the most important stuff at the moment early game you want to try to focus on getting crafting materials okay let's see we have 21 out of 52 in our storage let's see what we can craft until they get home we don't need to worry about making gas masks right now graves we don't need to worry too much about uh, trip wires we don't really quite need yet uh, we can make another water but while it's raining actually that would be a really good idea to craft another one of those water is essential in this game and you can use it for a lot a lot of stuff 
Okay, small house. And water is also a good resource to have as a trading supply because eventually you'll see people walking around across the top and sometimes they will come in and want to trade and some of them will want to join and things like that and let us check our clipboard like I was saying earlier this integrity report tells you basically how things are holding up okay so we need to worry about fixing the generate the generator oxygen filter and the water filter so okay we're gonna wake him up and Marcus to base there's somebody in this small house it looks like they want to talk let's get involved you run into people like this sometimes they will want to fight other times they want to trade starting a brave new world confirm okay I'll just say hi then okay this guy wants to join Right now we're not doing the greatest, so we're going to reject him. Not a big deal. Okay, they are going to say examine items. Okay, more gas, more food. A circuit breaker I would really want to take. Okay, we can get rid of the one water to take the circuit breaker bucket we own two so it's not a huge problem but all this stuff here is really good pipes can be weapons but it's also building material wood can be a weapon but you need a lot of wood food definitely duct tape crowbar weapon pistol really really good find axe another really good find so now we don't have to use our pipes for weapons we can use a hatchet and a crowbar pistol would be good but you have to have the ammunition for it and the tire I'll get to that in just a second uh, this will help our crafting speed so we can start building stuff a little faster and the cement and the limestone and sand to expand our base all really good stuff to find in our first expedition really good the tire now let's talk about the tire you have to rebuild this camper van here you have to find all these parts to get the camper van working and that's going to be our goal for this series we're going to build our camper van and we got one tire I know it's spelled with a Y but it is whatever but we have a tire we have a start on our camper van and as far as a first episode goes it's really good so okay now we are going to do a little bit of rearranging well, let's see Let's put that there. Didn't we deconstruct that? We want that deconstructed. Okay, now they're coming back. His perception went up, which is awesome. We will take all of the items and confirm. And our journal it says, Day 3, we stumbled across this worn diary entry. Diary extract number 27. That guy across the road is acting kind of weird again. I can't tell if he's a maniac or if he knows something that I don't. I don't know which is worse. Okay. Now, these guys will need to have their needs met. So we're going to sleep with him. We're going to have him sleep. And the bucket toilet is deconstructed. we got some wood back from that she needs to eat and drink and we are going to have her clean the shelter and we are going to have him take a suit and craft a oh well he doesn't 
he does need to take a suit. That's that's right. We're going to have him fix this and fix that. The food bowl is empty. She can fill that and she needs to take a shower. And she has food poisoning. Awesome. You do need to keep your shelter clean, which is why I made the mop and bucket. Because if, if you don't, I believe you can get... You can become sick. And you also get rats, which is never a good thing. Although if you do get rats, if you have a dog, the dog will help take care of your rat problem. Okay, he's fine. We'll wake him up so he can drink. And he needs to eat. And you can see workbench tool efficiency 10%. That's because we found that tool. Okay. He needs to also take a shower. And Marcus now has food poisoning. Awesome. We're doing amazing. We have 79 out of 90 water, which is good. We can have her drink. And we will have her craft a cement. And now we will have her craft another room once the cement gets made. And since you've got food poisoning and are vomiting all over, you can clean the shelter. See how slow they are putting stuff together? Oh, see what I mean about wandering people? Gary and Daniel. Let's see what they... Let's see, can we upgrade the door? We can't. We don't have hinges. Nice. And he will return the suit after he's done there. Have her start crafting another room in this direction. Someone is at the intercom, which is here. Respond. Hey, if you're still alive in there, I've got some nice goods available for trade. This is great. Want to make a deal? Yes. Okay, they have valves, leather. We want all the leather. Uh, we want all the switches. And we want all the rope. Whoops, we don't want this stuff. Okay, 53. Let's see what we've got a lot of that we can trade. Hmm. We have quite a bit of soap. Soap is pretty common. So we'll do that. We have some bandages, 30. We don't want to trade that. We definitely don't want to trade off our tire. We need to add that. Let's see, what else do we have? We have quite a bit of metal, but I don't really want to trade that off. We have a halfway decent amount of food, so we'll put one food in. We're at 40 out of 53. 
And this is what I mean about water being a valuable trade asset. It may not be worth too much, but once you get a very nice uh, stock of water, you can use it as a trading resource and really trade for some other decent stuff. So it's like you're farming water to get other um, resources. And once this other room is built, it will come in very handy. Okay, we don't have any more nylon, so we can't really make that. But now we have the stuff to make a snare trap, which will be good because we will need that. We'll need that very soon. We can't do tier 3 yet. Let's see if we can upgrade yet to this. Okay, we don't have the hinges. Okay, so hinges are going to be something that we're going to need to look out for. So we're going to need to send another expedition very soon. So, okay, she, she needs to use there. Uh, who needs to... Okay, he's he's fairly decent. So Marcus, and we're gonna have to send out an, another expedition. But that will be in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. As soon as we get our other room built, we'll do a little reorganizing. We are going to end the episode there once we get the room built. The water is at max storage capacity. And with that, I hope you had a good time. I hope you liked this. hope you enjoyed seeing Shelter. And this is Wizard. I will catch you on the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.